Marine reserves are really important for preserving and maintaining uh, New Zealand's biodiversity, especially in the marine space. So it also sets us up with an area that uh, isn't fished, um, that doesn't have a lot of human impacts on it. So we can get a really good baseline indication of what our oceans should look like. Historically, we tend to find that there's more, uh, more abundance of fish within the reserve and larger fish sizes within the reserve. And that's a really good indication that it's a, a healthy, thriving uh, ecosystem. Traditionally, to observe marine reserve effectiveness, we use diver surveys. Diver surveys are really labour intensive. It means getting people underneath the water and just counting fish um, over and over and over again. It doesn't give us that complete picture and it also limits the amount of space that we can actually survey. By using the baited underwater video, we can see what's down there. We're actually going to get a count of how many fish and how many species are there. Um, and we've even got the possibility of looking at some of the size of those fish. The problem comes when we get back to land and we have so much data that we've collected. Um, we, for every 30 minutes of video that we collect, it takes a single person between an hour to an hour and a half to analyse that footage. So over the course of collecting information for a few days, turns into a few weeks of human time of analysing that video and we thought there's no better way than employing some of the amazing citizen scientists of New Zealand. Uh, so we approached Wildlife AI and asked them if they could give us a hand. Wildlife.ai is a non-for-profit that uses artificial intelligence to accelerate wildlife conservation. Wildlife.ai has a community of data rangers that are software engineers and machine learning experts. The solution is to combine marine scientists and machine learning and citizen scientists to go through this footage. Together we've um, come up with a project which allows us to not only share the data that we're collecting um, with citizens but ask them to help us to code it. So the, the artificial intelligence uh, tool doesn't know what these fish look like and so uh, all of us as citizen scientists are going to be helping to educate, to teach the artificial intelligence tool what, uh, what fish look like and then over time that tool will be able to start doing some of the fish counting for us as well. Yeah, the Baited Underwater Video project is a really great way for the community to get involved with what's going on underwater. It gives them sort of a sense of a purpose of why we have this marine reserve and then, you know, why we should look after all our marine reserves right across the country. If you're keen to get involved in this new project, it's called Spyfish Aotearoa and it's hosted on a website called Zooniverse. So visit zooniverse.org and uh, then search up the project Spyfish Aotearoa and you, your classmates, uh, your friends and family can all start becoming uh, citizen scientists helping to analyse uh, video data that's been collected from marine reserves around New Zealand.